Okay, I just want to make a quick video of how you get the Blender dental add-on all set up. Um, for right now, if you've gotten a Dropbox account and I've shared a folder with you, um, whatever your folder is will be here. So um, I've named mine this because this is the folder that I kind of copy over to you once once you've filled out the little form and stuff. So in the Blender dental 64 or 32, whatever, there'll be this Blender. Um, application and you can make a shortcut to that and put it on your desktop and um, later you can just take this whole you know this whole folder and copy it but I'm probably going to be making an update to the add-on every you know once a week or so and this will allow me to just kind of push the new version straight into your add-ons folder which is in here so you come here open up blender which I've already done and this is what you'll see right click over here and first thing you'll want to do is open and you'll want to navigate to your Dropbox folder where it has everything interesting and a good idea would be to um, bookmark that folder um, that way it'll be always right here ready to rock and roll you want to open startup.blend shouldn't take this long. There you go. So what this will do is change all your color settings, kind of hide the things which aren't necessary. Um, you give you this quad view here and your regular view here. And you notice there aren't any add-ons here. And that's when you first open this up, it doesn't automatically install the add-ons for you. Go to File, User Preferences, uncheck this and then check it again and now every time you restart this will be enabled but you have to do this first save as default so that saves everything your colors which um, tools are added on things like that so you also need the mesh relax Add it on the import STL. Uh, where is it? And the three D view navigation. And um, I use this for when I'm making tutorials. You can disable it or enable it if you want to. And then save that as the default. That'll give you this here in case you don't have a computer with a number pad. So normally here when you use your number pad to flip views, this gives you a you know mouse version of that. Now all your dental design tool buttons are over here, as well as uh, this new panel that I've made that just kind of fits into the workflow and streamlines some things better. So that's all you have to do. Um, once we kind of get everything streamlined and make all the changes we want, then you can take that whole folder from your Dropbox and plop it on your computer. Although I don't think um, I don't think you'll see any performance gains by running it off of your computer versus off of the Dropbox folder because Dropbox is only trying to sync those after you've made changes. So it's it is on your computer permanently. It just this allows me to make adjustments to your um, you know, to my features over here. So that's it, and um, good luck.